Hello! I feel like... I feel like I should welcome you in to the Church of God. Of Simp. Of Waifus and Husbandos. <laughs> I don't know what it is about church music. Maybe it's because I grew up in a very, like, churchy, religious family. And I'm, like, the furthest thing now. But anytime I hear, like churchy music i'm like yes pray but like in a very sarcastic way and i don't mean that like i'm i don't mean that like to knock religion i just i just like to troll leave me alone okay anyways hi welcome how's it going happy first day first day yes welcome to fire emblem three houses I've never played a tactical RPG before, so... <sighs> Fallen units rise again after the battle ends? Fallen units are lost forever? I would literally not be able to. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Connect to the network and play online? What does that mean? Can I say no, but maybe yes later? I don't know. <gasps> the pixel art. That's adorable. Okay, sorry. Granddaddy, Kalpum Fun, Zephy, Chris, eh, Ivan, Marcos. Hi. I don't know why I wasn't expecting there to be like a cutscene right away. <laughs> huh? Any game that has anime cutscenes, I instantly love. Hello, green-haired goddess. She's beautiful. He's... He's hunky! <gasps> and powerful. Oh yes, girl, give it to him. Show him. Not the shoes. Damn. I would love to be at the end of her blade. Sir! I 
have only been here for one minute, and I feel so much shock. I'm a little crazy, it's okay. so adorable. This game is making me want to dye my hair back to green. I wonder how you got in here. Auto placement. It's most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. <sighs> Very rude indeed. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. A look at a look at me. I mean. Oh, you know, I'm so used to seeing the girl. I kind of forgot that you could also be a guy. <laughs> um, I was not prepared for a choice, okay. I know I want to stare. I mean, I want to be a female because that is what I am and not because I want to... She's hot. Okay, leave me alone. Hmm, I have not seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? Fletcher, welcome to the stream. Omega Joker, welcome to the stream. Percy, Blueberry Waffles. Welcome, guys. Thank you for being here. Um, okay. Am I a ghost, a demon, or am I 100% a demon? Do not deceive. You would do well to keep your wit in line. Uh, okay. Okay, sassy. I'll say I'm a mortal. I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. Bailiff. No. Oh, I guess I hit back too many times. Um. Um. Okay, okay. Ma part of me... I don't know why. Okay, I don't know why I'm, I'm making it a big deal. It's not a big deal. Just... You guys remember that one time in year? Where I spelt my name wrong. And I had to live with it. Bylish, because it's how she's like. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That's really funny, and I'm gonna do that since Steffi Roth won't fit. Get it? Get it? Because I'm bi? Haha! <laughs> Oh wait, I should put the... No. For fuck's sake, that took way too long. Wait. I 
I should not have the option to put my iPad into a game. <laughs> I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. You must possess a day of birth as well. It's so unique. What do you mean? And on what day were you born to this world? Um, I was born on the seventh month of the thirtieth day. Well, wonders never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. Wait, really? Hmm. Does she say that to everybody? Familiar. She says that to everyone, doesn't she? Oh, girl, relatable. <laughs> it is almost time to... Begin what? <sighs> How cute. Peter. Eh? Let's go. Eh, I don't know if I said hi to you or not. I'm so sorry. Hey, but I'm saying it again. Is that? Were you having that dream again? Geralt? I was dreaming about war. Massive armies clashing on a vast field, right? Oh, there hasn't been a battle like that in over three centuries. In His little case, nose is so roasty. For now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Mm. Risking mm -hmm. your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. <laughs> Good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. I already lost a heart point. Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with a situation. No They're time. so cute. No, a bunch of kids like you wanted this hour. We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. Bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. I... Wait, that uniform... Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. Do 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 do. Okie dokie. <laughs> the simping started like the second I saw that woman on the battlefield a very beautiful woman who also kind of scares me let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village okay take down the enemies in front first that should take the wind out of their sails select a unit and then move to the next move next to an enemy while your unit is next to an enemy, the command window will open. To attack, select the attack command and choose a weapon. Okie dokie. So... Units? No. Stay focused. I select a character and then I select... Okay, cool. Beat him up. Hmm. 
A weapon will break when repeatedly being when repeated use brings its durability to zero. You can fight with a broken weapon, but your might and hit rate will be reduced, and enemies will make follow-up attacks more easily. Be careful with your weapons. You cannot repair them mid-battle. Um, you, will prevail. you beautiful young lady, you shall strike. Bring him to his knees. <laughs> I got a heart. Oh, I forgot to read that. Um, okay. Once all your units have taken action, the player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. You can end the player phase early by selecting end from the battle menu. Why would I want to do that? Wait. Bows can attack from long range, although their hit rate is reduced as range increases. So... If they're closer, they don't hit as hard. Ready and willing. Oh. You can hold B during battles to speed up the animation. We'll advance while protecting ourselves from the enemy. Take up position inside the forest. Certain terrain will affect it will have effects on the unit occupying forest, for instance, raise a unit's evasion and defense. <gasps> Interesting. I should have named her Baylith. Okay, Baylith sounds... it's fine. Convoy? What does that mean? Hmm. You wait. Wait. Yes. Good. If we're in the forest, we can sustain their attacks without losing the advantage. You know who he kind of sounds like? He kind of sounds like Sully from Monsters, Inc. Forests are not the only terrain type you will encounter. Keep an eye out for others such as thickets and heel tiles. Mm. You can see the effects of terrain by placing your cursor over it. Press the X button on the empty space to toggle terrain formation in unit icons. No, 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 no. I'm already singing the battle theme, so you know it's a good one. members choose which house and I think um the red one was winning a fine opportunity. Combat, combat arts are powerful techniques that use more weapon durability than usual they do not typically allow for follow-up attacks units learn new combat arts and their weapon skill level goes up there are no combat arts for reason or faith those skills grant magic instead Um, combat art? Hit him where it hurts. Should I have held back? Dimitri looks like a straight up prince. That's the golden deer for you. <laughs> he does too, though, to be fair. I love how he's just. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave him there. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with him? I 
bring you despair. Thank you for subscribing. Damn. Why are there mercenaries in the village? Guess we'll have to deal with them too. <laughs> So cute. An item icon on an enemy indicates that you will get the item that is highlighted in green in the unit's details displayed when you defeat them. Dead right now. Thanks for that. You're welcome. I didn't expect to run into mercenaries like you in some remote village. The gods of fortune must be smiling on me. And they said, "Let's smile back." <laughs> I'm gonna kill you where you stand. <laughs> Um, Dimitri, you might die. I, uh... I didn't see that coming. Listen, I'm new to this. Oh, okay. Hehe, <laughs> run away. Attack when an ally is nearby, and the enemy will be intimidated, making them easier to hit. Oh, that's, that's dope. When you attack an enemy that is also in attack range of one or more of your other units, you will trigger a linked attack. Oops. Uh, during a linked attack, your avoid rate and hit rate are higher than normal. Linked attacks between certain units will also raise might. Good use of linked attacks is key to defending powerful enemies. Linked attacks will also build support among the units involved. Sorry, the victory is mine. <laughs> I'm at my limit. Oh. Um. Way to go, buddy. I will get stronger yet. It's a long road yet. Are her eyes purple or gray? You're gonna kill him, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> Killed you, fool. <sighs> well, it's fine.
After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? <laughs> you can call me Sothis. But I'm also known as The Beginning. She's adorable. Like, very, very cute. Hmm. Character design. Sothis. Yes. That is it, my name is Sothis. And I am also called the beginning. But who once called me that? Um What you talking about there? I was not able to recall my name until just now. And just like that, it came to me. How odd. You know, she kind of looks like the girl from the beginning oh, cutscene. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? No! A child just saved your life. And what does that make you? Um. <laughs> I'm less than a child. <laughs> Correct. You understand. <gasps> Ooh. You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. Hmm, I do not hear your gratitude. Perhaps I should force you to leave? So it's yeah, time traveling, huh? You so much to ask. I did deem you worth saving after all. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. However did I manage that? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. <sighs> How rude of you to drag me into this. Now what to do? Um, turn back time? Of course. I must turn back the hands of time. Yeah. I'm so glad you thought of that. Yes, I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. <laughs> I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Now go. Yes, you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. cool hey over here huh <laughs> it's so adorable hey did you just yes the knights of seros are here we'll cut you down for terrorizing our students you're hey, little like <laughs> the thieves are running away Go after them. The students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? Ah, uh, why him? <laughs> me? <laughs> Little old me? Wow. I'm obsessed with the little pixel art. I love Captain pixel art. Gerald, it is you. Goodness, it's been ages. Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, 
Your old right hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Their little rosy noses are so cute. Went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Aloise. Just as loud as ever. <laughs> And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garrig Mock Monastery. Uh, I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? I'm a bandit? <laughs> He's a stranger to me? Wait, is he my dad? Father? Is that so? Well, physical differences aside, your mannerisms do remind me of the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery too. You will join me, won't you? He didn't deny it. What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. <laughs> Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. Ah, it seems your presence is required. Get going. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, monolith soft guy, welcome to the stream. I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. Thank You're you. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker. Oh, Geralt. Former captain of the Knights of Saros. Oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? Who? My father? That old guy? <laughs> Uh, Carpet Fresh, welcome. Jorgen, the welcome. The Flash, welcome. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for being in chat. Um, have I missed anything? I didn't know he was a captain. He's keeping secrets from me. For that is fascinating and His daughter? Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? <laughs> of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers' Academy at Garrig Mock Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. Uh. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two <coughs> hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. <laughs> Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking so ruler yourself if you look pretty. for behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely He's on. pretty. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me, naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? <coughs> In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. Dang, when she's sassy. And its leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now, I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the kingdom with me. Guys, guys, Whoa, don't Too fight strong. over me. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. We can divide up my year. I can spend some of it with you. Monastery before begging for favors. With him. But with her. There's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Uh. Hmm. 
It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well? Um... Uh... Okay. Um, I think my members chose red. So, I think that's... The Empire? I thought it was something different. Let me just double check what members chose. This is not the choice. Oh. It's not? Well, I'm gonna pull it up anyways. Yeah, it's... Members chose, um... Edel? Is her name Edelgard? Um, okay, well, if this isn't, um... The choice. I'm gonna go with him because he's he's handsome. Fargus is he's pretty. I don't normally been. like him pretty like this, but he's All really right, pretty. With the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. Hmm. <laughs> Why is he always winking? <laughs> you know, each of the three is most unique. My my, there is such a hurry, you know? Each of the three is most unique. Ah, <sighs> Dimitri. He seems quite sincere, but I sense darkness lurking beneath. She is refined young, she is a refined young woman, but I feel as though she is always evaluating me. His easy smile is striking, but that smile doesn't reach his eyes. Yes, I thought the same. <sighs> I am so sleepy once again. Am I... Am I just oh, Sothis? Sleeping, I... Is... Is Sothis just me? Huh. Does she hold her cape in her lip? That's so cute. Part 1. White clouds. Great tree moon. Three houses. So... Fantasy. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodland, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. That's really pretty. The I love- The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. Hmm. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. Ooh. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. Mm hmm. Very interesting. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlan in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Mm. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. <gasps> wow. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. I love it. It's beautiful. I bring you despair. <gasps> Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, me too, man. Me too. Dang. Is that the girl from the opening? Why is she staring into my phone like that? Did the flow of time bring you here? I mean, kind of. It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... Her? You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop, Lady Rhea. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Jeff. So, is this Seros. is a religious school? Right, hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder. Was She's it the will of the gods so that we had a chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it? Who me? has been yes. hips? Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child. But I'm afraid we lost her to illness. Oh. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? Honestly, I'm really happy that um, the game has a dad figure and not a mom figure. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice to have a dad. I mean, I have one in here that makes it sound like I don't have a dad. I have a dad. My dad's great. 10 out of 10 dad. Wait, her hips don't lie. Who has big hips? The hips don't lie, never will. Who, who in this game do you guys think has big hips? Fine name indeed. <laughs> sure is. Bottom of my I'm heart, sorry. I thank you for saving those students of the Officers Academy. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but. Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until Excuse tomorrow, me. farewell. Rhea does not have big hips. You guys are delusional. Uh, I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. I must work here? Dad review when? <laughs> as a mercenary? Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. <gasps> Me? You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers Academy. Right? Well, the academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking, making you a professor like this. 
She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. It is a little it's sus. You, so young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officer's Academy. You know, you have a goatee, but something about you just seems so trustworthy. If you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. You can't hit on me like that, lady. I'm not. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm shy. <laughs> I look too pretty for that line of work, do I? But yes, when I'm not teaching, I can be found in the infirmary. If you're ever lonely, please do come and pay me a visit. I would love to. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuela. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? No. Fine. I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officer's Academy is comprised of three <laughs> houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer mm, House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. Ah. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm. Quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch. But they're good kids. <laughs> I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow. But that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Gerald's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. I will flick your nose, Gerald's sir. Character. Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Okay, listen. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. I may be young, I and I may have never teached before. Increasingly concerned about a matter regarding Does that make me suspicious? We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mock. Yes, that Garrick matter Mock? is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Mm. Oh, excuse me. All this green hair seems sus to me. Whoever made this game really, really liked green. I will not tolerate Cetith's no slander. It's not no slander. I just want to flick him in the nose so he's behaves himself. 
and know who's boss. No, who's boss? It's me. I'm the boss. Damn. If I went to the school, I would not be able to focus with those two very nice looking professors. My hair was green at one point. <laughs> you looked real creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, hello. I think I'm in love. Maybe, maybe I'm not in love, but I'm falling in love. Of course. Okay. Wow. So cute. Dang. She thick. Yeah, if I went to this school, academics who? <laughs> um, ma'am. Um, professor, I need some help after class. I, uh, I'm having a hard time. <laughs> I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers Academy, correct? Yep. Please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. May I ask a favor of you? Okay. Requests are taken, are tasks given to you by people around the monastery. Those who give and are involved with quests will have icons by them. Consult the quest menu to see the quests you have ac accepted. The icons beside each quest indicate status. Icons for a special essential <laughs> quests are red. Okay. <laughs> that took my brain a little bit. Do I want to talk to him? I don't know. He was kind of mean. Okay, we'll talk to him. Ha! I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. <gasps> it was Frankly, you? I had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust-up with the bandits. Can't entrust <sighs> students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Yeah, I'm not that bad, now, am I, hmm? Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. You don't tell me what to do. I have the cough. I do not like having the coughs, but I have them. <laughs> the mini-map in the upper right. In the upper right corner of the screen shows your current location, the locations of important people, the direction to quest givers, and more. Zoom or change the map view with the ZR button. Oh, you can do a big map. That's nice. Good to know. Harry Potter. 
Is this just... Is this just the knockoff Harry Potter? Okay. I can't, I can't. So, you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity, I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hresbach. Edelgard. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Um... Mm, I, I haven't met any of them yet, so... Maybe not. Can I talk to you? No, you're just... Okay. Th that's fine. You sound okay. Um. Oh. <laughs> Greetings. You must be the new professor. What a pleasure. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings <laughs> of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? Is uh, it? <laughs> and by that, I mean to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. I'm glad we have folks like you keeping us safe here. Yes. Oh, I can run. Sprint. Yeah, my member- I let my members choose, and they chose Black Eagles. But I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Yeah. I kind of wish that I was choosing him. I mean, it'll be worth the wait, right? It'll be worth it. One day, we can be together. When you're older. Ah, oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even bring you to properly despair. introduce myself. Thank I you for subscribing. Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Of course, at the Academy, I am mm. simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. In any case, welcome to the monastery. You're so I hear kind. You're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the blue lions catch your attention? You. Me? Oh, um. <laughs> please forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me, but I understand if that can't be helped. Mm. Hello. I just think he's kind of pretty, okay? That's so. I'm not a simp. I'm not simping. He's just pretty. Well, I well, called. Scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Oh, no. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? No, thank you. I appreciate your effort. Nice. I suppose I should return to Rhea. Um, I'm gonna explore a little bit. What do you think? This is the... The Golden Deer the Golden Deer House is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Our house leader is heir to the Alliance's leadership, House Regan. We have plenty of other prominent nobles as well. Nice. Hi. So you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. They're adorable. Like that, my parents are Alliance merchants. And I am Lysithia von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. It's like this. What do you think? 
Hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... M Marian Van Edmund. How are cute! You the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. Adorable. Must be my lucky day today, being approached by such a beauty. <laughs> I'm Sylvain Jose Gatier. Feel free to say hi whenever you like. <laughs> Is everybody just gonna hit on me? <laughs> and who's this? You don't look familiar at all. Do you work here at the mall? She is so adorable. Oh, mercy. Do you think this is that mercenary people have been talking about? She now got that I think here. about it. That does sound like something Dimitri may have said. I suppose you'll be enrolling at the Officers' Academy too, then? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend. I'm Annette. It's nice to meet you. They're so cute! They're so cute! I have heard all about what you did from Prince Dimitri. As a citizen of Fargus, I thank you. He also said you're quite skilled. And he doesn't just say things like that. I look forward to sparring with you and beating you. Uh. Felix, must you always speak of fighting right away? Oh, and uh, you may call me Ingrid. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. They're so cute. Hey, hey. Hi there. You must be the one everyone's talking about. I'm Ash. <sighs> Great to meet you. This here is the deal. So cute. So I, I have heard just want to give him head pats. Highness. Words cannot express my gratitude. Should you ever require my strength, please know that I will hasten to repay this debt. Okay. Dun, 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 hey. This is probably the house I'm choosing. I don't know where to start. Bernadetta, this is no stranger. Oh. Our house leader owes this person a great debt. Is that not right? I am Ferdinand von Eyre, legitimate Ferdinand? son of the Eyre family, the Empire's foremost house. Mm -hmm. Are you going to join our class? I look forward to getting better acquainted with you. No, 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 no. Well, now, now. <gasps> have a familiar face. She's so Where cute. Oh, my name is Dorothea. Before I joined the Academy, I was a member of an opera company in the Empire. You should hear me sing sometime. She kind of reminds me of Jessie from Final Fantasy VII. Is it true that you saved Edelgard? They're so That's cute. Incredible. The name's Caspar, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Linhard, goodbye. Uh. Sheesh, Linhard. How'd you get into the Academy with those manners? His so, voice is so cute. Maybe we'll be in the same class. I am Hubert, a humble servant of Lady Edelgard. Oh. I to the aid of her highness. You have my most sincere thanks. You kind of look this like you're going to murder me. She has come all the way from Bridget to study in the Empire. Back on her archipelago, she is actually a princess. In Fodlan terms, she would be called heir to the throne. Oh. Hello, I am called Petra. I am pleased to be meeting with, uh, no, uh, I am pleased to have met you. So cute. He's a vampire. <laughs> he kind of gives vampire vibes. That's for sure. So, that's everyone, huh? And you can cute. You can get other members from other houses, right? Okay, I guess I don't have business here yet. Dun, 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 dun. 
Hubert is hilarious once you get to know him. Okay. Well. That's so. We're gonna have to get to know him. Are you gonna tell me I can't go this way? You can't go past here. <laughs> Fine, I'll go. We'll go back to the green lady. Um a moment please. No. Yes. Yeah, you can recruit most Hi. units. Not the first floor. Um yeah. How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The spam bots today are so funny. Um, put the Caesar in timeout. Only Putin didn't find girls with us. That's fucking hilarious. Okay. How are you enjoying your job? Oh, you already read that. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a team. I get it, you but don't like me. Desires. The black eagles, the blue lions, and the golden deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. I think I would like her more if she didn't have orange lipstick. Like, it's just throwing me off. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. <gasps> That's so kind of you guys. Which house will I choose? <sighs> <sighs> it's fine. I'll just admire you from afar. So you have chosen the Black Eagles led by Edelgard, correct? Your heart has made its choice then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. Fuck them up. Got it. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? I am so sincerely She's sorry. She's so adorable. I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please okay, do okay. not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. I don't think that. It... Wait, so our new professor is you? I, I don't see that one coming. I don't think the the yellow one is ugly. I don't think anyone's ugly except for. <laughs> okay, uh, there there may be one person that I find a little unattractive. Who was I that? Bring you not exactly drawn to 
great. Uh, but we don't have to talk about that. Um, but yeah. Um, see, well, I think it'll be okay. I know everybody was telling me to, um, to choose what I want, but I wanted to go with what. Sorry, I'm blocking this spam bot really quick. I wanted to go with what my members chose. Um, and also we can always play all three houses. Get it? Cause the game's, cause the game's called Three Houses. <laughs> Easy, Caspar. Aren't you being a bit rude? You know it's a waste of time to expect politeness from him. It will be a pleasure learning from you, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to take a nap. <gasps> a nappy? <laughs> don't look at me like that! Oh, and please don't talk to me too much either. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I'm sorry for the chaos you've walked into. I hear we are rather close in age, Professor. I hope you do not mind if we treat you like one of us. In our class, we try to treat each other as equals, despite any differences in age or status. Um, no. I'm the professor. You have to treat me like... Like a boss. Personally, I would love to include you in that inner circle. I don't mind at all. You I didn't really have a choice there. I will take great joy from your teachings. Petra, I believe you mean to say that our professor has guts. That's a bit different from having a gut. <laughs> you can't go around saying someone so slim and attractive has a gut. Oh, uh, please take my apologies. <laughs> I have not yet mastered this language. Professor. I want you to She's know so that it's cute. perfectly acceptable for you to treat me as you do the others. I may be the Imperial Princess, but here at the Academy, I'm just another student. Got it. That said, know that I have high expectations of you, and high hopes. But I'm certain you can lead the Black Eagle House to greatness. I like her. Sure, sure. Now let's break the ice with a training <laughs> session. I want to see our new teacher in action. Why will the ice be broken? Is this a custom I have missed in my studies? Not real ice, just the ice of, um, well, it just means let's get to know each other. I don't want to train. Let's stay in the classroom and uh, learn from a book. Let's all call oh, down no. a nice cup of tea, how about? Doesn't that sound lovely? I feel like I have my hands full with this group. I know we all agreed to treat each other as equals, but there is a limit to what I can tolerate. The esteemed Black Eagle House requires order. And suddenly, I've become a mother. <laughs> Looks like your first job will be to quiet down this racket. I don't envy you. Oh, you know, he's not that bad looking up close. Uh, they're not normally this rowdy. I don't... I do hope you can manage perfectly. I don't believe you. <laughs> Fomantis! Hello! Welcome! Protect Bernie like a mother grizzly bear. <laughs> I'm excited. I've heard nothing but um great things about Edelgard. There are new places to explore in the monastery. Received 1,000 G from the Church of Seros as funding for this month activities. That's so, not a lot of money to pay here, a teacher. I'd like to use this device I designed to determine mm -hmm. whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. You don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything. Absolutely everything about them. Is your calendar clear? <laughs> this will take a while. 
Crests are a fascinating topic. But before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. He's like that cult worker. When you start a new job, he's like, I have to teach you everything. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. <coughs> I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Um... Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. That's really nice of him. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an <laughs> as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. Hmm, what could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps... What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. So, is this like the other Fire Emblem houses where you can make them fall in love? Can I play Cupid? You can now change the protagonist outfit to the dancer assemble in your journey a quest has been added from chapter 5 of the main story on you will find the quest via the bulletin board in order to accept it you must have the ability to invite people to tea parties professors of the officers academy receive a schedule for the month ahead <laughs> It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. <laughs> Characters can marry each other? Cute. But I can't make them marry each other? Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month and when. I guess I'm exploring. <laughs> it's mostly Cupid for yourself, but it's possible for others, I think. It's a staple of Fire Emblem games to bask in matchmaking villainy. <laughs> so, let's just say. Hypothetically, if I wanted to marry a certain blonde-haired prince in this game, could I? Is that... 
something I can do. I don't know why I had to be dramatic about it. <laughs> do you have DLC? No. the upcoming mock battle i want you to know professor that i do not intend to lose i hereby declare my intention to prevail at goodness listen to me the thrill of competition has carried me away i won't speak so formally of the class assignment in the future you have to choose his house <laughs> it's okay we'll be together eventually it's fine let me know when you are hungry. I will make you a quality meal as thanks for your service to his highness. You'll cook for me? That's so kind. I have a request. Go plant in the greenhouse. Take the dudes. But is his name the do? Um, okay. Mommy will plant seeds for you. I didn't think before he said that. <gasps> Just choose his house, you weirdo. Hey, Teach. I hear there's gonna be a mock battle between the houses. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. Maybe take it easy on us. What do you say? Never! Oh, Professor, have you adjusted to life at the Academy yet? Me, I'm still not used to it. I'm not one for all this studying and training. <laughs> You're so cute. What the? Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. You're his apprentice? It may have been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. It's kind of funny that you think that because, um... Yeah, never heard of you. And that's my dad. So, back the fuck off. How about that? How about that? Well, there's Dorothea, Hilda, and Mercedes. Lady Rhea is quite the beauty, too. And I must admit, I've even checked out Professor Manuela once or twice. Uh-huh. You know, Professor, I think I'm going to like it at the Officer's Academy. <laughs> there are beautiful girls as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Why am I just him? Why is he me? Oh, no. Professor, I've got Try a sharing a meal with ask. others in the dining hall. I will do that. Because that sounds adorable. <laughs> How cute. Anyway. Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse here is really incredible. There are so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home. And herbs I never even knew existed. He's just so cute. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. You're so adorable. Thank you. Yes! By gardening, you can harvest all kinds of crops. Flowers, for instance, make great gifts. Some people might even decorate their rooms with the flowers you've given them. Use the plant command to decide which seeds to use. More seeds means a, a bigger harvest, while more compatible seeds will lead to higher quality. Use the cult 
cultivate, cultivate command to pay the greenhouse keeper to look after your crops. The more you spend, the better your harvest will be. Your crops will be ready one week after you plant your seed. Use the harvest command to gather what you've grown. Plant. <laughs> yeah, we'll plant to do I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My thanks. The great tree moon is the best time of the year for naps. Oh, he has a little ponytail. I could just forget all about my assignment. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. <sighs> Why are people saying oof? Hmm. All right, Ivan, I'll see you later. Thanks for coming. What's in the Fresh catch. Greetings all. Please assist me by catching a delectable fish for the Saint Calabula celebration. Uh, oh, yes. Wow. Um, um, okay. If I was the dining hall, where would I be? No. No? No to you too. I'm not down bad. Only a little. Not a lot. You can recruit. You can recruit Leon and. So, so, so lovely. <laughs> I feel like his name is gonna be hard for me. I have, it's kind of funny. My name starts with an S, but S names are well, the worst. You know, Professor. I don't think I can recruit him now. Well, there's you know, Professor. Professor level E. This should help. <gasps> Thank you for your super chat, granddaddy. <laughs> Ara, Ara, sorry, wrong stream. Just wanted to say I'm happy you're playing this game. I'm going to sign off for the rest of the night to be with my grandma. Have a great night, Steffi, and chat once. Granddaddy, thank you so much for stopping by the stream. I really appreciate you doing that. I hope everything goes well with you. Busy. Do you want something? You. Yeah. Um. I can't right now, but let's fight soon. I look forward to beating. <laughs> He's so mean to me. Oh, I really need to eat. I can't hold out until the next meal. Why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. I think that you might need bigger shirt. I don't know what's going on. Um, but you know, it's fine. You do you, actually. You do you. Today's special. Oh, I love this meal. How did you know? Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste. <gasps> Thank you. E plus. <laughs> nice. I knew I could count on you. Mm -hmm. Petra. 
you know I am having great abilities for reading and writing. With sadness, I still have struggles with speaking. If my ways of speak... Uh, uh, of speech are causing a burden, I hope you will have forgiveness. Absolutely. I have the utmost respect for anybody trying Hello, to learn a language. Professor. Well, I call you that, but I am afraid I am not a student here myself. Why not? Should the opportunity arise, I would love to become a student and begin my studies in earnest. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Oh. Oh, oh, you're related to that asshole. Oh, sweetie. Can you help me with a favor? Sweetie, I'm so sorry. If you ever need anything, you let me know. Because he is a butt. I'm here for you. Stuff? Okay. I will be right back. I'm gonna take a snack break.
Okay, we are back. Oh no. Fletcher, I see you're trying to keep tradition alive. How kind of you. Where? I guess I'm just exploring, so it doesn't matter where I go. Thank you, Fletcher. I went that way, right? Yeah, so go this way. Hello. Hi, Professor. How are you doing? Those are lies. I hate spiders. If you're not busy, would you like to join me on a little trip into town? If I'm cooped up in this dusty old monastery for too long, it drives me absolutely crazy. Hi, Professor. If you're not- If I'm- Oh, we're not actually going? I want to go. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Listen, let me tell you the provenance of our class name. The eagle. <laughs> that refers Excuse to the twin-headed eagle on the Adrestian Empire's coat of arms. Ooh. And black is the traditional color of the Empire's armor. Hence... I didn't mean to skip it, I swear. I just... I'm sorry. Okay. I'm getting close. Listen to this. I have a VTuber model. She's really cute. Some believe the dignity of the Empire rests on the results of the mock battle. That's an overstatement, of course. Still, we must do our best to prevail. You should take the time to learn each student's abilities. Perhaps some extra lessons and training sessions are in order? Mm. You look as if you have no idea what's going on here. I know my way around, so I'm happy to help you find your footing. This is my first uh, Fire Emblem game. A great deal is expected from professors of the Officers Academy, so it's important to hone your skills. To put it plainly, You'll need to keep expanding your knowledge of all disciplines, not just battle. Nice. You should take your time when speaking with everyone, but when it comes to using the facilities, well, you need to be more careful about that. If you use them without planning ahead, your free time will be gone before you know it. Hmm. Have you noticed the bulletin boards placed around the monastery? Those contain requests people have posted, as well as helpful information from the market. If you prove yourself by helping people with their requests, certain facilities here will become available for your use. The bulletin board is updated frequently, so I suggest checking it at least once a month. The monastery has some exceptional facilities that everyone who lives at the Officers Academy is well- For example, you can enjoy a meal with your students at the dining hall or take part in some one-on-one -on -one sparring at the training ground. I suggest oh. visiting the various facilities whenever you have the time to spare. It's a great way to get to know the students, faculty, and various workers here. So... Where are the training grounds? Oh. It's my nemesis. What are you? These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. 
Commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. That's kind of rude. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here, but the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. <laughs> I hope you got that. <laughs> I hate you. I bring you despair. <gasps> Thank you for those skiving. I really hmm. Maybe I should talk to my professor about transferring to a different class. Oh. Maybe. I mean, you know, it never hurts to ask. Okay, where are the training grounds? I just picture an anime hero with a black wing wing Sephiroth. Uh, you know, that never that never um occurred to me, but that sounds like a great idea. And I might I might steal that. Fancy. I'm assuming you're not the training grounds. Hmm. visiting the library yet? Nope. It's absolutely loaded with valuable information. I only wish I wasn't burdened with the necessity of sleep so I could spend all my hours there. Why why is Trinity telling me to what <laughs> Chat you claim to like this woman. Why would you do this to her? What did they do to me? Yes, but it's more that I want to learn as much as I possibly can. And this? What? Um, you're lying. Listen to this. Hi. Is it? I care nothing of friendship. Oh. If you have no business here, leave. All right. Ass fuck. Um, is it supposed to be this? Cause I don't know if I can go in there. So, my nose is very itchy. Did they really? Ah, uh, I see. has by far the deepest characters. I'm regretting not picking them more and more. <laughs> Much appreciated. <sighs> now I have to go and fight my prince. This is awful. I mean, it's a mock battle, but still. It's conflicting. It's finally time for the mock battle. This is my chance to measure your worth as an instructor. Do you think you can rise to the challenge? So confident. This will be interesting. 
Each of us has undergone strict training. We're prepared for anything that comes our way. That means there's no need to hold back. Show us what you're capable of. Hey there. Did we miss our invite to this strategy meeting? No, no worries. We'll just join in now. Simply tell me your weaknesses and you're welcome to stay. But is there enough time to cover them all? <laughs> ah, so you can't win unless you know my weakness. Poor princess. You really should be- I spare no effort Oopsies. in pursuing victory. As a master of schemes, I should think you would understand. Schemes? Me? I have <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. I plan to fight fair and square as ever. Hearing the words fair and square from Claude can only be a bad omen. <laughs> Your highnesses haven't known me for very long, but you already have me figured out, don't you? No need to poke fun. I will God, fight he's with beautiful. That said, I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop. To win. I'll stop. Later. Yes, and the same is true of us. Right, Professor? If that is how you feel, then I will not hold back. Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. Ah, how time flies. In that case, I'll see you later. Edelgard? Professor? Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean to cut you off. It's okay, everyone sims for Dimitri. I just... I just think he's pretty. Magic can provide new means of attack and defense to a unit that has the skill and is of an appropriate class. You must equip attack magic in a phase of... But you can use assist magic regardless of your other equipment. All magic has limits, has limited uses, but these will replenish at the end of battle. The magic your unit gains access to is determined by their skills. Study reason to learn black and dark magic. <clears throat> Develop faith to learn white magic. Um, okay, choose the unit's option to determine whom to send to battle. Press the A button to toggle the unit. Units are highlighted in green cannot be excluded. Choose the inventory option to sort items, equip abilities, or combat arts. Assign battali battalions and change your unit's classes. Choose the map options to see the area and placement of your units. Once your preparations are complete, select fight to be to begin battle. <laughs> hmm. So you can only have Oh, you can only have 5. Okay. Um I don't really know what anyone does. <laughs> Lance, axe. Don't use <laughs> Hubert or Dorothea. Not yet, anyway. Okay. Yeah, when I saw that he didn't have a weapon, I didn't, I didn't really want to use him. battle is finally here. Will you lead us to victory? 
I'm sure you already I bring you despair. Thank you for subscribing. The other two is declared the winner. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle, so listen well if you want to win. Stay focused. Ferdinand von Eyre. I will get the victory. I don't know what I'm doing. None of your shallow tactics are required, Claude. Ignatz and I will dismantle the opposition. Me? But I'm not ready. Are you making light of our new professor? If you drop your guard, you're gonna get hurt. Ash, can you move to the front lines? I want to lure the enemy this way. Got it, your highness. Leave it to me. Once you finish preparing, make your move. Did you, Mercedes? Keep our enemy occupied until then. You wanna lead me to you? I'm on it. Oh my, we'll try our best. Shut <laughs> Heck yeah. He reminds me of Sukiyama from uh, Tokyo Ghoul. Oh, his magic kind of sucks. Teach. I may have to take this seriously after all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She kind of. She kind of goaded. I must. Perhaps I should retreat. Professor is quite a commander. <laughs> battle, a chance to grow. I'm not setting a very good example. Press RT? What?
Let's use the forest to set up an ambush. I'm counting on your support, everyone. If they're waiting in the forest, we do well to take a detour. Hmm. What is the? <coughs> Sorry, guys. I don't mean to cough in your ear. I'd like to take it easy. fight two houses at once <laughs> an impressive display of confidence yeah this is a good opportunity for us let's forge ahead Are you freaking kidding me? Alright, jerk. your challenge oh with you as my opponent i won't hold anything back i would expect no less oh no <gasps> to be left behind unacceptable Thank you for subscribing. Take over for me. I didn't realize they had the same weapon, and now I'm realizing there's little icons for every weapon. Perhaps it's time for a nice <laughs> Dimitri, I know you want me all to yourself, but you can you stop killing my people? Stop it. Not worth the risk. Him back. No. Try. 
up the victory. I feel like you're ganging up on me, and I don't like it. You're a tough opponent. Shut up. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Coming up with brilliant schemes I can handle, no problem, but I'm not much for fighting. Go easy on me. You know that was a joke, right? Jeez, not so much as a smile. No! Forgive me, everyone. My battle ends here. Don't I have... Can you guys stop telling me that I picked the wrong house? I can fight through anything. So, people don't like the house because of characters? The mock battle is finally- Shut up. We're not losing this time. I'm sure you already understand. But the house that defeats the Shut up. State Shut up, Dad. I bring you despair. I will prevail. The last time I listened to you, Father, you led me down the path of death. I will get the victory. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. None of your shallow tactics are required, Claude. If not, shut up. <sighs> Ash, got. Once you finish, I'm on it. Oh my! I think that was the right move. Stop trying to hurt my Lin. Oh my 
my goodness! He is but a fragile child. A sleepy, sleepy heart person. I am so pissed. I am gonna murder. Murder. One more success. This was beneath me. Well done, Teach. Use the fort. If they're waiting in the forest, I want to fall for the trap. surrounded. All we can do is fight back with all our might. She can throw an axe? I'll have to be careful not to scar that little face of yours. Careful, Claw. I'll win no matter what, but you're only making things harder for yourself. I kind of ship them. 
losing hasn't even crossed your mind, has it? Ooh, this will be a bit of a shock then. To shock was your intention to begin with, was it not? <laughs> that won't do at all. Plus, I think I'd rather not start with the best house. Wouldn't that make the most sense? Wouldn't you want to save the best for last? Coming up with brilliant schemes, I can you know there was a <laughs> we must all do our part. Oh, I hate losing. I guess I'll just <coughs> for cheering the others on. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't mean to be coughing. I don't know why I'm all of a sudden I'm coughing. I can fight through anything. Kick the old lady's butt. Are you kidding me? You don't there we go. Failure is not an option. So you've made it past Manuela, eh? I see now I must focus and then make my move. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. True challenge starts now. Interesting. Don't call ladies old, Steffi. <laughs> old doesn't mean anything. I I find that silly. This is my first tactical RPG. I am a baby or tactical RPGer. you could make it. Oh, no. 
Only a fool challenges me. I chose the red one. Always getting stronger. The black eagles? Red eagles? Something eagles? to yield. Do not fool yourself into believing I will hold back. Rude. <gasps> Did do what you doing? I could see why you would choose him. Try and guess who I'm already simping for. Clarity. Take a guess. My training. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Really? We're gonna have to work on you, boy. the teacher too, huh? Don't spam combat arts. Your weapon, your ability will go faster. Oh no. I don't think I was spamming them. You're really just gonna stay up on here, huh? Is well, I was as good as useless. Witness my power. All right, that's that. The winner of this mock battle is the Black Eagle House. Even though it was just a mock battle, we defeated both houses masterfully. Take pride in this victory, everyone. Do do do. Sixteen turns. She was the MVP. Ow. Excellent work today, Professor. Though our victory should come as no surprise. Mm, it was pretty much a close was call. It? I'm not sure I agree with that. Was impressing, Professor. I mean, uh, impressive. She's we so cute. We gained a victory of your great leadership. We certainly did. We all tried our best, of course, but we couldn't have won without you. I yeah, was Petra was MPP. Like MPP. And, and in my heart. <laughs> I dare say we owe our victory to Lady Edelgard. How so? For that battle, she was only a soldier following our professor's command. Sure, she was an incredibly powerful soldier. Don't worry about it too much, Linhart. All that matters is that we won. 
I'm all done with being on the battlefield, okay? You I'd weren't stay back than pursue victory out there. You you weren't that you weren't supposed to be child. You were all as ridiculous as always. We only managed to win because we worked together. Oh Was it something I said? Is it so odd me talking about togetherness? If so, that perception must change. In fact, I'm canceling the festivity so we can discuss this topic further. I'm kidding, of course. Come on, everyone. We've earned this celebration. She's so cute. Very, very princessy. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Oh, okay. Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline. Understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeating myself. <gasps> I can sense something special within your heart. At least Fran believes in me. Bandits, they say. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Don't need to be reminded. Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me. <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. Got it, so I'm crazy. this nonsense all i was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible i bring you despair jokes on you i don't have a suffer off body pillow mm. no one said anything about the knights of dan saros being on our trail oh he looks like he needs a nap you have proven yourself worthless distracted by something so trivial i had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback but now, a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. Hey! This isn't what I agreed to! Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Who are you? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. Oh. Uh. What? Underestimating the Knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Dang. Right. Get back here! Uh, damn you! He's a great dude. Um, he's mean to me, so I'm not seeing the great. Part 1. White Clouds. Harpstring Moon. Familiar scenery. Is there a dragon in this game? In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltine and Grander.
Listen. We don't talk about suffer off like that, okay? I understand that Sephiroth is complicated and has his interesting habits, okay? But that's, you know... We're not talking about him right now. Oh, my salary went up. <laughs> As you have already been notified, Wait, it's Jiraiya? Is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for and You will receive a message. The last time we fought Oops. bandits, you saved me. Maybe I can return the favor this time. The knights are well aware of our enemy's strength. We can count on them to keep the battlefield under control for us. It seems unlikely that we would lose. Still, let's do all we can to prepare. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Dad! Oh, I didn't expect that answer. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Honestly, still sounds like, um, Sully from Monster Inc. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. Mm, they're cute. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now, but don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. <laughs> so stay. Oops. I wish I could offer you my support, but I'm gonna put it back on auto because I keep skipping. <laughs> for now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever. Okay, Dad. I won't. Ten out of ten dad. Would have as a dad again. Thank you. <laughs> you have allies who can take beginner exams. Take a look. At certifications to review which they can. The monastery holds events with various effects, such as those which increase the benefits of the share a meal activity for certain characters. These events will appear on the calendar. Select explore on your day off to participate. Oh. So from the map screen, you can travel instantly to places you have already been. Press the R button to open the map, select a destination, and then press the A button for fast travel. Press the X button to see where to find each character and faci facility at your select location. Girl's voice. Who? What could it mean? Hmm? Oh, I think she's talking about... Sothis? Your performance in the mock battle was exceptional, Professor. Oh, thank you. You have inspired me to follow your example and study even more diligently. Perhaps we could train together sometime. I would love to test myself against your sword skills again. We can definitely... I bring you despair. Do that, sir. I hear you've been tasked with hunting down bandits, right? Meanwhile, my class is stuck with a downright peaceful mission. Sounds like you'll be fighting alongside the knights, too. Don't let the monastery down, Teach. I won't. Thank you for being so nice to me. It is better if you do not approach me. Uh, uh. If you spend... 
It is better if you do, if you spend too much time around a man of Dusker. There will be rumors. <laughs> he was he was so forward about it. Oh my goodness. Ooh. That reminds me. Stop your simping is showing. I what? No. February. Hey there, Casper. Professor. You here to check in on my training? Oh, that reminds me. I found this small cloth. It's kind of weird. Not really sure what it is, but it works great for wiping up sweat. Ew. The next assignment is to drive out bandits? Sounds like some training is in order. Tell me something, Professor. When it comes to a one on one battle, which is better, strength or skill? Um. Probably you skill. You might be right, but when it's all said and done, I still think muscle comes out on top. Uh. Um. Good to see you, Professor. Did you need something from me? I was just on my way to train, so I'm pretty busy. Hmm. Interesting. Professor. And now that you're all the way over here, Professor, care to join me in some training? After training, I love tending to the horses or burying myself in a good pile of books. <sighs> There's truly nothing better. She's so adorable. Hi, Professor. I've actually got plans. Interesting. For years, the Boar Prince and I were inseparable. I know him better than almost anyone else. So let me give you some advice. Beneath all that princely polish, he's an M, nothing more. He's strong and skilled, sure. But don't place your trust in him as a human being. Take care he doesn't chew you up and spit you out. I'm not hearing Join me for some training sometime. Bad I'm interested things. in your sword technique. I might like to become your student someday. But not today. Aww. He said he'd become my student one day. That's so nice. Um how does one train? How do how do I get them to train? Jokes on you, I like to I bring you despair. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. The simp, the simp, simpin is extremely strong and stuff right now. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not, couldn't be me. Hello. Professor, hey, do you know how old Captain Gerald is? That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, how could my child know? It's not normal to forget your own age, you know. It's kind of worrisome, actually. By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the point of caring. Do you? I guess if you put it that way, you've got a point. Do you like my dad? Are you trying to, like, get with my father? I'm getting those vibes. I don't want to recruit you. Professor, hey. No. I guess... Professor, it's not. I guess it's. Stop it. I have a request. I don't even know what happened there. One winged simpin. This should help. Simplin. <laughs> uh, Miggy, thank you so much for your super chat. What? this a fire emblem game i'm in <laughs> do you do you like fire emblem who are you have we met no no sorry must be my imagination oh Hi. 
That's all you're gonna say to me? That's all I get? That's all I get. Have we met? No. adorable she's gonna oh, tell me now Hello. excuse me I um... mm. she's so cute maybe you guys are calling her mommy she definitely earns that title. <laughs> Bridget has much more warmth than Fodlin. Even Spring here has coolness. And you, Professor? Which do you find is worst? Too hot or too cold weather? But you are wearing many things, Professor. If you are not liking the heat, you should be wearing lighter clothes. Thank you for that tip. I will take that into consideration. Right. I've got to find out everyone's likes and dislikes so I know what to cook. Who knows when it'll be my turn at kitchen duty. How about you, Professor? Do you like sweet or spicy food? Spicy? Ooh, your tastes are so mature. I'll definitely <laughs> remember that. She's so cute. Uh -huh. You think I would be a good fit for your class? Mm, I'm not sure. There's still a lot I want to learn from my current class. Sorry to disappoint. Come to my class. Just, I just want one person. I want to steal them all. that I can really seize the day. Sir, you shouldn't try to interrupt their conversation like that. It's rude. ones who run the church. Their identities are a closely guarded secret. Ah. Amiibo gazebo? <laughs> you know, Professor, there are some things I'll just never understand. I picked the black eagles. Like the other night, I went on a date with a dashing handsome strong young knight oh i'm a bit weak just remembering him do you know what that no good jerk said when we got back to my room he said what a mess i'm afraid to go in there can you believe it you know who cares about keeping everything neat and tidy not me that's who maybe you should um there. some knight he is maybe you should um Maybe you should um switch to a different team. Maybe, maybe a she. Uh, maybe a she wouldn't care. Maybe a maybe an I. Maybe an I wouldn't care. I mean, look at us together. We're, we're pretty cute. Just two, just two beautiful ladies. Yeah. 
Could be. Be a couple. Head down. No. Your loss. All I hear is Ash Ketchum. <laughs> I think she's so cute. I'm bored. Maybe I should go into town. But that would be such a hassle. Oh, hi, Professor. I'm rather busy right now, so do make it quick. Are you sure? I thought you'd found me out for a moment there. I'm bored. Let me do things, game. A moment, please. Dun -dun. Oh, have I not been here before? Oh, Professor, how are you today? I'm just heading out for a mission. I'll be seeing you. I don't need luck. This will be a piece of cake. I'll be back. You think Hilda is annoying? Shame on you. Oh, this leads to the dining hall. Perhaps there are way too many vegetables in today's meal. The ratio of vegetables to sweets was completely skewed. Oh, hi, Professor. Were you just eavesdropping on me? Well... Everyone knows a plate full of sweets is far preferred to a plate full of vegetables, regardless of age. <sighs> yes, I'm actually very busy right now. If you're here to... I see, I see. Dun, dun, dun. Hello there. You there. <laughs> we will accompany you on your assignment. We don't want anything to happen to our precious students. If any of you run into trouble, We'll step in and help out. That's so nice. Thank you. What? What do you mean, what? Hey. So noisy. I can't believe it's September already. Ah! My second year anniversary is in four days. Crazy. Oh, there's like a little market. Hello. Hi there. Oh, well, hello. Hey. So Ugh, you're so annoying. You there. <coughs> is a very lucky man. You are indeed correct. Which one is Flynn? Is that how you say your name? Or his name? Do you know of the Iyer family? We have long held the position of Prime Minister in the Empire. The Empire's power lies with six noble families. <laughs> My family foremost among them. The full explanation may be time consuming. I can give you a moment to get ready, if you would like to take notes. <laughs> Alright, 
I will list the six great noble families. There's Kaspar's father, Count Burglies, the Minister of Military Affairs. Then there's Linhart's father, Count Hevering, the Minister of Domestic Affairs. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is the Minister of Religious Affairs. Hubert's father, Marquis Vestra, is the Minister of the Imperial Household. Finally, we have Duke Gert, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and my own father, Duke Eyre, the Prime Minister. One day, I will take his place as the Prime Minister of the Empire. I am more talented than anyone in my class, even Edelgard. I will lead the Empire to a bright, enlightened future. Wow. There is nothing I cannot achieve. He's sweet. You want to make me related to that man? Pass. Ultra pass. Triple pass. Quad triple pass. Oh, we're in the church. The cathedral is nice and quiet. It's so relaxing. Mm. Oh, Professor, did you come to pray to the goddess? That's right. Okay. Shall we pray together? Oh, you want me to join your class? Hmm, well, I'm already having so much fun in my current class. Sorry to disappoint, but I'll have to decline. Okay. I'll get them eventually. I will have all of them. I have a favor to ask. Find out which students are passionate about music. It seems there was a sign-up sheet being passed around the time seeking students to join the choir. Here's an idea. Hi there! An owl! How cute! I think owls are so cute. Okay. Really? students this will be their first time stepping onto a real battlefield it's important that they're mentally prepared as for me <laughs> do i look green to you we literally met fighting is there anything else you wish to ask me about regarding spending your time at the monastery or battles just as students have much to learn from other students professors can also share their knowledge with each other you should consider seeking instruction from Professor Hanneman or Professor Manuela. I think you'll find their insight quite interesting. Which house a student is assigned to depends on where they're from. That said, each professor has their own area of expertise. So if a student is adamant about it, it is possible to switch someone from one house to another. If you become- Say less. I already- I'm already trying here. You didn't even have to tell me. I want it's like it's like Pokemon. I just wanna collect them all. Does that make me a terrible person? It's thanks to Probably. The very model of chivalry. Someday I'm going to be just like him. You are just the absolute cutest. But I'm really flattered, honestly. But I still have a lot left to learn in my current one. I will. I will get you. Working for it makes me want to catch you more. I'm the same way in Pokemon. I get so stubborn if they don't go in the ball. I just don't know how to give up.
Would you kindly do something for me? Mm. Well, you can cook together. How sweet. Visit the captain's quarters? I'm assuming that's... that's so. here somewhere. I definitely want to. I regret not playing Arceus on on stream. It was a lot of fun. around and have everybody say hi to you <laughs> that's kind of no dumb but i like it <laughs> what is this way oh this is the market so... well where's the captain's quarters Maybe it's that one all the way up at the top? A moment, please. But wouldn't it be red? What am I missing? I was thinking. <laughs> what about I was thinking. Okay. Oh, it's you. Inside the cathedral, there is a chapel dedicated to the four saints. Do you know of them? Saint Indec, Saint Mithuel, oh, I'm so glad he said it. Saint Keyhole, and... Saint Sathleen! Who is your favorite professor? Now that you are a member of the church, be sure to familiarize I bring yourself you with despair. our teachings and Thank traditions. you for subscribing. What? I don't understand is how something so sweet and adorable is related to that thing. I have something to ask of you. Mm. Maybe. Maybe I will. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll, I'll think about it. It is the duty of every Fodlan noble to demonstrate piety towards Seros. Have you also come to offer your prayers to the goddess, Professor? You don't sound terribly sure. Perhaps you are not of noble birth? After all, devotion is not as essential for a common. Pass. He really just said, um, yeah, you're a commoner. Get away from me. <coughs> Cow pun fun. Thank you for the gifted membership. By the end, you might love Sita. Sea teeth? Sea tufts? That dude? So much you might husband him up. Ah! Oh no, but oh 
Okay. Oh, there's a second floor. I forgot about that. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. No? Interesting. Thanks for your help. Oh. Access the item menus to use Access Combat. Nice. Like set Aerith down before she gets stabbed by Severa. <laughs> you didn't have to, you didn't that was unnecessary. Okay. <laughs> oh shoot. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end stream here for today. Um because it, it's, it's getting late, unfortunately for me. Thank you guys so much for coming to the first Fire Emblem stream. Thank you guys for all your um, lovely opinions. <laughs> I am excited to see what happens. I, we didn't really dive too much into like story-wise what's going on, but... I'll be interested to see what, like, plot-wise happens in the future. Alright. Farewell. Thank you guys for coming. I'll see you probably tomorrow. Yeah, probably tomorrow. Alright, bye-bye.